The Pied Piper of Hamelin. Hamelin is a small town in Germany located on the banks of a large river. Long ago, Hamelin faced a big problem. The city was infested with rats. They were found everywhere in houses, inns, schools, shops, and even on the streets. The rats were of all sizes, big rats, small rats, fat rats, and thin rats. There were black rats, brown rats, and gray rats. The rats fought with the dogs. They even bit small babies in their cradles. They ate up all the crops. The people of Hamelin were fed up. They started losing their patience. They finally went to the mayor and asked him to do something to get rid of the rats. The mayor said, what can I do? The people demanded that he should find some solution to the problem. As they were discussing the problem, a strange looking man knocked at the door. He was tall and thin. He had shining blue eyes and long hair. He wore a colorful coat and a green cloak. His hat was red in color with a white feather on it. He held a long pipe in his hand. He said, I'm the Pied Piper. I see that you have a rat problem in Hamelin. I will rid you of all the rats. For this job, you will have to pay me a thousand gold coins. The mayor was amazed and cried with joy. Yes, yes, I will surely pay you a thousand gold coins if you drive them away. The Pied Piper walked in the street, playing a sweet tune on his pipe. At first, nothing happened. All of a sudden, there was a noise and thousands of rats came running out from all directions. They all rushed together and gathered around the Pied Piper. The Piper walked through the town towards the river. The rats followed him. The Piper led them to the river and stepped. The rats also followed him. They plunged into the river and all got drowned. The people were overjoyed. The Pied Piper then went to the mayor for his reward. He said, your city is now free of rats. Give me the thousand coins you promised. The mayor had changed his mind. That's a lot of money, he exclaimed. I'll pay you 500 coins. The Piper became angry and said, you promised to pay me a thousand coins. You must honor your promise. If you break your promise, I will play another tune and you will be sorry. The mayor just laughed at him. The piper did not take the money and walked away. He came to the street and started playing a different tune, much sweeter than the earlier one. Soon there was a rustling and bustling and all the streets became alive as the children of the town ran towards the pipe piper and he led them up a hill where a giant door opened wide. The piper led them all inside through the door. The people were horrified. They came forward and urged the mayor to stop the piper from taking away their children. The mayor also realized that he should not have broken his promise. He begged the piper, forgive him and afterwards to pay him the promised riches. The piper was pleased. He sent the children happily back to their homes. He reminded the people that promises once made should be kept. Saying this, the Pied Piper walked away quietly with his bag of gold.